to Sykeston, where firefighters work to help people impacted by flash flooding caused by all of that rain. They also had to deal with those high waters inside their own department. Nikki Clark is live now with more details. Kathy, Jeff, when firefighters arrived here at the station this morning, they were met with water up to their ankles. This video shows how much water made its way into the fire station. Sergeant Dalton Hunsicker says the water got everywhere from the Bay areas to the living quarters and even flooded the back parking lot. I'm told this isn't the first time firefighters at this station have dealt with flooding at their home base. We get a good downpour, yeah, uh, the bays will. The bays don't normally flood as bad, but unfortunately the inside of the station does flood a little. Um, so it took a lot of squeezing and a lot of air from the fans to get everything dried out for us today. Sergeant Hunsicker says the water didn't damage any of their equipment. It's just a bit of an inconvenience. The fire station is actually in the process of getting replaced. They're hoping it will be finished by the end of the year. In Sykeston, Nikki Clark, Heartland News.